Hello everyone, and welcome to the first ongoing benchmarking challenge of Dream and Sage Bio Networks. In this video, we will highlight all the key steps of the EHR COVID-19 Dream Challenge, as well as how to dockerize a model and submit it. The first step is to register for the challenge, which includes becoming a certified user. Note that you may only submit a Docker image if you are certified, so if you are not yet certified, click on this button to learn more. Similar to other Dream and Sage related challenges, we highly encourage participation to be part of a team, though this is not required. You may register your team by clicking this button, or if you are interested in joining an existing team or creating a new one with your fellow peers, go to Participants and Teams. Next, you may access the available data and download them by clicking this button or by navigating to the Files tab of the Challenge Wiki. Finally, you may start developing your model and submit it to the challenge when it is ready. If you have any questions, head over to the discussion forums to discuss with your peers and the challenge organizers. As mentioned earlier, participants and teams will display all current registrants and teams for the challenge. You may request to join any of the existing teams, or you may create a new one with these users listed here. All submissions to the challenge may be tracked here, assuming you are the submitter. Each question will have their own dashboard. Now that all the basics are covered, let's get started with the example submission, starting with building the model. For this demonstration, we will be using the provided baseline model, which can be accessed from here. Instructions on how to build and run the model can be found in the README here. To start, clone the repository. Next, change directories to where the Docker file is located, then build the model. Download the synthetic data, which can be found under the Files tab of the Challenge Wiki, into your current working directory, then extract it. Once done, you should see a new directory called Synthetic Data. This model is also dependent on two directories called Output and Scratch, so these will need to be created as well. Finally, copy-paste the docker run command to run the model. If successful, a generated predictions file will now be located in the output directory. Now you are ready to submit. In order to do so, you will first need to create a new Synapse project. This project will include all your models, as well as your future write-up for the challenge. In order to push your model to this specific project, the model will need to be prefixed with docker.synapse.org followed by the project ID. This can be done by using the command docker tag. If you enter Docker images, you should now see that there are two Docker models with the same image ID. Next, log into the Synapse Docker Hub if you haven't already, then push the model that is prefixed with docker.synapse.org. Once complete, you should see a new repository listed in the Docker tab of your project. To submit, go to the image of interest, then click on Docker Repository Tools, followed by Submit to the Challenge. Choose a version you want to submit if applicable, then indicate whether you want to submit as an individual or as part of the team.
Now when you head to the submission dashboard, you should see a new row. And that's it. Thank you for watching and good luck.